disaster area. Sounds like another fun place to hang out. Welcome back to Homicidal All-Stars! I'm Joe Stern, and tonight it's the penultimate challenge area for Season 78. As the numbers of the surviving challengers dwindle, we'll follow their perilous path through the disaster zone. The site of an electrochemical catastrophe a few years back, this area remains as unsafe as it was on the day the accident happened. How many of our remaining challengers, if any, will survive its many dangers? They don't even care if anyone makes it to the finale, huh? Hey, if it happened every season, wouldn't be special, no would it? The challengers are almost sure to get a charge out of this area if they're not careful. Scarlet makes it through the electrified gauntlet. Scarlet steps on a safe tile. Looks like she's cracked the code. That was almost fun. And a fake Tibble joins the fray! <laughs> I felt that from here! That one went wide. Not even close. <laughs> that gun's not going to shoot. He's locked and loaded. <laughs> Catastrophic! One less scum to deal with. <laughs> Catastrophic damage! The ogre is rejuvenating himself! Timber! And they both survived the ambush! She's got another reward box.
the road ahead is blocked, and the key to open it is in a nearby combat arena. Subtle. And she snags a reward box. Looks like the arena is behind a sophisticated, if malfunctioning, security system. Changing the power flow. Targeted. A good spot to hide from that prying eye. That station must be a sight for sore eyes at this point. I've got a question. Any advice for those of us who want to try out for the show? Yeah, don't. <laughs> You're funny. Well, I'm doing it. You'll see next season. Our challengers are now approaching what was once a high-end butcher shop. But will they slaughter or be slaughtered? It's been a long time since the staff and customers got buried under the debris, but that doesn't mean this place is any less bloody nowadays. Oh, did anybody get the number of that train? Down goes the scum! A massive hit! That's two in a row for the contestants. That drone is not just shooting. He didn't miss that one. No dice on that shot. She's bringing the hurt down on him now. Come <laughs> on. 
too hot to handle. The challengers drop a deuce. And a well-thrown grenade. A bombshell out of the blue. And it looks like a delivery of fresh meat. And it's the season's first appearance of a fire starter. His devastating flamethrower makes it very clear. This guy prefers his enemies? Well done. Almost daring her opponents to break cover. by inches. Getting ready to dish out some major pain. Oh, there's a drone. A staggering hit. He misses the shot. Two down for the challengers. Hibbolt's decoy sets the stage for some major confusion. He's trailing blood, I think. Zoe's next shot will be devastating. Setting up a kill zone. A fiery death for the fire starter. And he takes a hit after breaking cover. on defense for a bit. Ready for some more bang bang. Spooling up her weapon. Goodness, what a hit! <laughs> Absolutely brutal! That did some major damage. Swapping out the empty mag. Two in a row 
for the contestants. Shop cleaned up. The challengers are now free to explore the rest of the disaster zone. The challengers had better watch out for all those bare wires. You've got to sign, Did you sign this? this. It's my favorite picture of you. Wait, isn't that from when I almost died? Yeah, so metal. What the? Fuck you, Scarlet. Dressing those wounds. Hang on. I'll get you out. Appreciate it. that almost cost Scarlet her life is now in safe hands. Is this a way down? Well, when those things do go down, you put some weight on them. <sighs> hey, can you get me through? Hit by a spike trap! That was electrifying! There we go. Selfie, please? You were so iconic last episode. I was? Absolutely. Wait till you see all the memes. Gotta caption this. Scarlet and Tybalt are approaching the arena where sharpshooter Phantom is all alone in dealing with overwhelming enemy forces. And it appears that Scarlet is intent on helping out her fellow challenger.
Phantom's fans know she's something of a glass cannon. Marcus, what's your status? Marcus, shit. But now, she gets the chance to move to her preferred position on the back lines. The arena is fully covered by some well-entrenched defenders, but it looks like their sniper nest might be dealt with relatively easily, if the challengers can get to that detonator fast enough. Which one's the real Tybalt? <laughs> Looks like the ogre needs a minute. <laughs> He's gotta be disappointed with that. Biding his time, waiting for his shot. His shot goes wide. Waiting for a better shot. Waiting for an opportunity. And there's a hit! He 
never saw it coming. Laying in wait. Hoping they'll walk right into her sights. And she decides to reload. And that fire starter is toast! Scarlet's team manages to rescue Phantom, but is the mysterious security guard turned sniper extraordinaire ready to enter a new alliance? Thanks for stepping in. That was clutch. We could join forces if you like. Increase our chances to get through all this. I can't. I'm on a team already. Right, right. They were a great help just now. We got separated. I can't abandon them unless I'm sure they're all... eliminated. We can help you look. Oh, we can? Oh, cool. Appreciate it. The names are Marcus, Fly, and Richter. Call me if you find any of them. Or if you need sniper support in combat. To reach the wrecked highway, Scarlet and Tibble will have to make use of those elevators. Looks like we've got to split up. Getting closer. That did something. Electric barriers down. Almost there. Just one last thing left to do. And he's grabbed the reward box. And they make it to the highway. A nasty surprise! Oh. Devastating! That scum is not getting up! Back 
back-to-back -back kills for the challenger. He unsheathed his sword. I can't believe she's still standing after that. Two Tybalt is one Tybalt too many. <laughs> and try saying that five times fast. That's a game changer. That's gotta hurt. That hit was savage! And goodbye, Ronin! The challengers make it two in a row! A jaw-dropping assault! We miss! No luck on that one. So much for that ambush. There's another arena. Phantom's teammates might be in there. Yep. Or certain death. One way to find out. Challengers are approaching a former house of worship, now forsaken by even the most devout believers. Should they get ready for their last rites? The challengers came here looking for one of their own, but instead, they find themselves facing an army of defenders! Oh, boom, shakalaka! Setting up a perimeter. Ah, oh, not his best shot. The 
Bishop is no more. Refusing to be rushed. She's no easy target. Waiting for the opponents to come to him. Not a hit! Wait, what's that? It's contested Marcus Lee! This ex-soldier may have left the service in disgrace, but he's acquitted himself well so far on the show. Take cover, challengers! I'll lay down some smoke! get the number of that train she's fully reloaded now she bumps off another one good luck trying to shoot her now Cigar. Nothing but air that time. He bungled that shot. She shoots him down. Clobbering time for this contestant. Marcus fogs things up. Some ass. his aim. Fully reloaded. Phantom pulls a disappearing act. 
She pops in another clip. Exit one scum. Plenty of boom, but not much to show for it. And it's another victory! Scarlet and her allies managed to join forces with not one, but two other challengers. But will this meeting with the dishonorably discharged soldier blossom into something more than just a passing cooperation? Marcus, you're alive. Good. Good to see you, Phantom. I'm afraid Richter and Fly weren't so lucky. You... you sure? I saw it. I'm sorry. Oh, right. I haven't thanked you for coming to my rescue. I'd say it was the other way around. No, I don't think so. I owe you- I will. We will. Right, Phantom? It would seem to make sense. And that does it! Just in time! Reward box collected. Cortillas! Hey, don't go anywhere without me. I won't. But we need to find a way to meet back up. Oh! Hey, Tybalt! On three! More Poland? I think I see where this is going. Electrocuted! Okay, beam me up. What? I said... Never mind. Yes. Okay, come on over. to get through. Healing up. She's got a real nose for those reward boxes. After a surprising team-up between two separate challenger squads, our seemingly indomitable contestants are making their way toward the final fight of this episode. 
If they manage to survive it, they will be just one episode away from a grand finale, something we haven't seen in quite a while. place will definitely become someone's tomb once the fight is over. She can't be happy with that. Fire! Taking some fire! Challengers, I'm under the impression that our relationship is becoming more and more toxic. Just like the gas we're releasing into the arena. Oh, what a twist! As more gas seeps into the arena, the greater damage it will deal! Fortunately, the challengers can try to turn it off. She wants to make the next shot count. Clean miss. She cuts him down. She landed that one hard. Pretty easy to walk that one off. Standing watch for now. Taking up a defensive position. Ready to defend his position. <laughs> That's a game changer! For that, Muerta! And he sets himself into an overwatch position. He wasted some ammo on that one. The ah! gas concentration is still rising! Concentration drops to a more manageable level. She takes up a guard position. My apologies, viewers. The gas I released is clearly not potent enough to properly test the challengers. Allow me to correct that mistake.
setting up on defense. You have gone too far. The rules demand that challengers must always have a fighting chance. But they do, like Mansa did. That was... An error on your part as well as ours. Rings did significantly after his ill-conceived execution. I really think if you look at the big... This is not a debate. The on-field conditions will be reverted to previous. for her patience. Zoe starts preparing a nasty surprise. <laughs> and a brutal hit on the target. She prefers her mag full. She bumps off another one. That should clear the air. Two in a row for the challengers. Despite its deadly reputation, the Disaster Zone was unable to stop the implacable Scarlet Martillo and her allies. They're getting closer and closer to the final fight of the season, folks. But first, they'll have to slog through the contaminated shallows of the Amber Harbor and face the bizarre new defender awaiting them there. Scarlet, welcome back. You know the drill, yes? You've gotten further than over 90% of this season's challenges. How does that make you feel? I'm proud of what I've achieved, and I'm ready to make it to the end. Don't you worry that your luck might run out in the home stretch? I don't believe in luck. All right. Thanks, Scarlet. Good luck out there. Tomorrow night, the Defenders will be using live ammo for the first time. Sure, it's a bit stressful, but I've been doing fine with non-lethal ammo for three nights now. I'm pretty confident that I know the AI's behavior well enough not to get shot. Wow, that takes me back. Steve Sharp shot Harwood, the winner of the very first season. I forgot how different the show was back then. why the warden isn't here with us excuse me he's basically a teammate he should be sleeping on the same level as us it is a machine 
Well, with all my enhancements, so am I, really. It needs maintenance in between episodes. I could do that, and maybe learn some useful stuff about his inner workings while I'm at it. Ah, uh, so that's what this is about. What? I'm an entrepreneur. Gotta look for new feature ideas. Uh-huh. Walter, let's make sure we get a hold of some footage of the other contestants using our gear. Talk to our contact in production to get the B-roll, too. If any of them survive, we'll need consent to use their likeness in our ads. You know the budget, so work it out. If they don't make it, well, that wouldn't be great for the brand. You know where you can shove your brand, right, Zoe? Except, we do need the gear. It's getting a bit crowded in here, don't you think? But it increases our chances to get to the end. You really think we can trust these teammates not to stab us in the back before it's all over? Because that's what happens on this show. More often than not. We'll worry about it when we get there. Oh, fair enough. Meantime, you watch my back, and I'll watch yours. I never really considered what I'd do with the money if I won, even if we all survive. This thing with Scarlet... Maria. Seems like it'll probably wipe out any prize we were supposed to split. But if I did have that money, I could take Bobusio Katarina to the old country. Grant her that wish of seeing Kiv one last time. Oh, man. Now I'm getting sentimental. Guess all this almost dying does that to you. I keep wondering what the deal is with those freaks. Like, are they still people underneath all that cyber junk, or are they so enhanced they're not even human anymore? They, they sure don't act human. God, Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Just gotta make sure hey, they're far away from me. She's already that electric about hug the of theirs? <laughs> yeah, the fuck that, that shit. Avoid hugs from freaks. Always good advice. Hey, Phantom. I lost a teammate this season, too. His name was Marty. If you want to. Talk about it? No thanks. I'm here to win this thing, not socialize. You want to cooperate? That's fine, but let's stick to business. Alright then. Jeannie, I've asked the people on the show to send this to you if I don't make it. I had a very close brush with death today, and I... If I don't make it, forgive me. People who have someone to go back to shouldn't be on this show. Marcus, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about your teammates. Thanks. They knew what they were signing up for, but it's still... I know. Yeah, you do, don't you? I'm sorry about what they did to Marty. That wasn't right. No, it wasn't. And... thanks. Gotta admit, I'm relieved that Phantom made it at least. She's not much of a talker, but... there's some comfort in a familiar face. The new ones... they seem alright, mostly. But I probably shouldn't get too attached to them. As much as I hate to admit it, he's not wrong. Take some hits back there, Phantom. Probably shouldn't wait too long to. That's the first time I've heard you coughing.